going on, Nitro Sites? It is your boy, the Nitro General here, back at it again for a brand new episode of our Pokemon Showdown series. If you guys are excited for this and you want to show some support, I would really appreciate it if you guys would hit that like button down below and subscribe if you guys are new. Help me on my end of the year goal of 300 subscribers. I'm going to keep saying that to the end of the year, guys. Like I've been saying, I don't think we're going to hit it. Um, I would like to hit 250, but uh, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do that either. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, I've always said I don't make content for viewers. I make content just because I, I love doing it, right? It gives me the excuse to play Pokemon. And this channel is transitioning into a strictly Pokemon channel. So, I mean, we got our Pixelmon series. We got our Pokemon Insurgent series. We got a showdown. I, I just love Pokemon in general, and uh, gives me even more of a reason to sit down and and play the game. So yeah, but um, one more thing I wanted to say before we get into this, uh, I know you guys probably saw the last one of the last up uploads on the channel was the uh, the team builder for our uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl uh, showdown uh, team. So if you guys are excited for that. Make sure you have your notifications on because that video is coming out later this week. And uh, we're going to be doing one of those a week. If you guys want to see more, let me know. But um, I am having... I have been playing so much. I have like five or six uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl teams. I've like, made like four other ones after this last... The last two that I made. Um, so at the beginning of the next video, we may debut a couple more of those. Just so we have like a very big variety of teams that we're using but i have been having so much fun playing uh brilliant diamond shining pearl uh, competitive like a lot more fun than i have been having playing this regular competitive like that we're doing right now in a very long time and i know that's just i'll explain it more in in that video but i have spent i've been sitting down and playing some in my free time and man it's just it's just so much fun guys so make sure you guys you are turned tuned in for that because I have some really cool teams that I really enjoy using. So uh, yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed for that. But anyways, uh, let's get right into some battles. We're gonna try to get four, but we may get more. It's the tagline of the series. Back to using the Guzzlord team in this uh, this uh, episode, which is really cool. And especially in the last time we used this last week, I can't believe how many times we realized how bulky Guzzlord really is. All right, all right. I see you. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Big Mouth and I think I'm gonna go Vesuvius because I think I could see a Whimsicott Nine Tails lead. Maybe Nine Tails. It's either it's definitely Nine. Or, I don't actually. There's so many leads this could be, right? Obviously, it could be like a Tailwind set and leading, but obviously it's gonna be Nine Tails set up. It is a Moongus. I was wondering if it would be or not, and. Okay. Okay, this is actually really good for us, right? I'm just going to set up a substitute here, and we're just going for an eruption. Right? That Amoongus does not want to take. And... Uh, it's got... Damn, God damn it, guys. It's got Prankster now. Which means... Yeah, this... Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, that sucks. We're just going to... God, that sucks. You can't. You can't really be mad, but... It's just like, oh, and we get the first turn, wake up, let's go. Let's absolutely go. Um, so that Moongus is gone, huge threat gone. Um, I am just going to go for an Iron Head into that Clef, and then we're just going to go for an rub. Actually, let's go for, and then he forfeited. Yeah, you, you might want to forfeit there. Vesuvius kind of just wrecks the rest of your team. You don't have anything for Vesuvius. You're running like a strictly grass type team with the rest of your Pokemon being either weak to Vesuvius or just very low. Like, I, like I know Clefairy's a good Pokemon, don't get me wrong, even with Eviolite, but yeah. Sorry about that, man. I mean, we're probably, I don't know if I can count that one as a, as a win because it's still a little bit early, but there was no way we lost that battle. There was no way we lost that battle at all so all right so we got a reggie lecky team here um i'm gonna go big mouth and uh 
let's go Shell Shocker, I think, because I want to, if he leads Regieleki, I want to try and bait out a Volt Switch. So, I don't know. I mean, obviously, the Hay has the Nihilego. That's probably Power Herb Meteor Beam. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to ignore that Tapu Fini for now because, honestly, oh, God. Honestly, other than Mallow, we really don't have very much for it. This is definitely one of the reasons why I've been way more enjoying BDSP. Uh, competitive because there's so many legendary Pokemon that you don't have to worry about right like it's just all back to just strictly just fun sets with don't having to worry about the tapus and all the legendaries and everything like that man they just lead with it they just lead with it um all right well I don't even trying to think even if I want to try or if I just want to let Big Mouth go down here as cool as it is guys I think I mean maybe we can try to go for a sub but I really just think uh, yeah let's let's sub and fake out actually I think that's probably our best bet um so he flinched there so we do get a substitute up I am just going to iron head that whimsicott I think and I almost just... If that Whimsicott has a Grass-type move... Like, we go into Vesuvius. Um... Okay. And he just wanted to take... Wow, he really doesn't like Big Mouth for some reason. Okay. Um... We gotta go Mallow now. I am just going to Drop Kick and... We're going to protect here. I, I, I'm i going to go on a limb here, guys, and say that we're going to lose this one just because they have just so many threats on this team with Reggie Lucky and Tapu Fini. And Tapu Fini is just... Every time I see it, it's just like, oh, man, I just... Oh, oh great. Fantastic. I mean, it's just... Um... Dropkick, and I think we have to double now into into Shell Shocker. I'm gonna try my best here, guys. But oh, oh, wait, this is really, really good. Come on, just Oko it. Doesn't Oko it. Um, I go Dropkick on top of Fini here, and we're just gonna Water Spout. You know, I don't, I don't even really care. Um, I just, and is he, is he just going to Flare Blitz? Don't Flare Blitz, don't Flare Blitz, don't Flare Blitz. God damn it. Oh, I was really hoping that he would just double. I was really hoping that he would just double here. Um, I guess now we can just come into Vesuvius and Eruption. We're going to Eruption and we'll Water Spout, I think. I mean, he's probably just going to... Tailwind again. I mean, I could try to Shell Smash here, but honestly... And honestly, if he tries to come in with Feeny... Okay. This might not be the worst thing in the world. The combination... Oh, man. Yeah, never mind. Alright, well, see you later, Whimsicott. Um... Man, I don't have Flash Cannon on Shell Shocker, which isn't really that big of a deal. This could be Power or Meteor Beam. That's what I'm going to assume. I'm going to protect here, and we're just going to go... I mean, at this point, 79. Yeah, so we got to go for Muddy Water. Um, Meteor Beam, Power Herb, and that's nearly not going to do any... There we go. We got the Protect, so that's just really, really nice. It did miss on Feeny, so... Calm Mining up, that's really, really, really not good. Um... I just have to flash cannon on there, and oh my god, I got a muddy water. Yeah, that's okay. If I could, oh he, oh accuracy drop. He skull, he misses the scald, and Feeny goes down. That's actually really, really, really big. That's really, really big. Um, it is Reggie Lucky. 
I flash cannon on the Nihilego. Oh, that's a yeah. All right, so um, I'm gonna rock slide actually, and then I'm actually gonna double out into King Quake, anticipating the electric type move. Yeah, I was wondering if he just wouldn't do it. Um. God, this is insane. Okay. Yeah, I definitely think we lost this. I'm going to fake out in the Nihilego here. And I'm just going to Earth Power on the Dragapult. I mean, I guess there's still a chance. But it's really not. You know, I'd rather just... Yeah, he has Thunderbolt. I was wondering. And then... Can we get the KO? We do get the KO here. Um, but unfortunately, we don't have... Wait, actually, this might not actually be the worst thing. He's going to go into Incineroar. Um... I am just going to ally switch here, and we're going to Earth Power on the Incineroar. Actually, let's ally switch and Earth Power on the Nihilego, I think. Because that thing might be a little bit more of an issue. And, uh, I was wondering if it would have a higher priority. It does. Alright, GG's. Uh, man, I, I didn't know what had a higher priority. Either Fake Out or, um ally switch so all right it's kind of a cool team actually i haven't seen the pecs in a while uh, we're gonna go we'll go big mouth and shaw shocker i can probably we I mean, don't really have a ton for the blissey but we will see here it's gonna go ferrothorn not great um, I'm going to sub up, and we got to switch. I'm trying to think. I think we got to go. Man, that lead is really nasty because I can't really go into King Quake or Vesuvius here. Um, I think we just. I think we got to go King Quake here, genuinely. So if he hits me with a power whip. Oh, he tried to toxic. He's gonna stealth rock up. Um, I'm gonna dragon claw, and I think we just focus blast. He could be. He's probably got scald, but I don't think it Oko's King Quake here. Risking him on a. Now the only thing I think is he might go in Tornadus, anticipating a, a ground type move. And, um, I don't, I'm going to start the timer here. He does. And we miss, which sucks. Um, yeah, it doesn't do a ton. I am just going to, uh, we're going to. Dragon Claw getting on the pecs, and I think we double into... If he goes for another Water-type move, probably Shell Shocker here. Tailwind. Mm. Ah, and then he burns! Why does he keep burning with that? That's insane that he keeps getting that roll. Um, I gotta go for a Dragon Claw, and then how much is Water Spot doing? It's still doing... What? Go for a Dragon Claw, and we're going to fake out on the Torn, because that could have... Um, I guess I could fake out on the... Okay, good. Good, good. That's actually really nice. Um, we get a, a Dragon Claw off on the Aegis Slash. Doesn't do a ton. It does resist it. We do have Crunch. Um, I think we just go for a crunch now into the Age of Slash, and I think we just go for a Water Spout now at this point. Um, he hasn't hit Big Mouth yet. 
Honestly, a substitute paired with the life orb may not have been the best call in the world, but he doesn't really have anything super effective against Big Mouths here, so he's gonna go for a Shadow Sneak. We do get our Citrus Berry, and he's, he's really afraid of Shell Shocker now. Don't go back into packs, don't go back into packs, don't go back into packs. He's gonna go into Dragonite, ugh. And Age Slash is gonna go down here. So, see you later, Age of Slash. That's really, really, really nice. Did, he, did we get rid of that? Um, honestly, we do. We have a plus attack now. I think I can go for a Dragon Claw on the Dragonite here. And at this point, we have to go for Muddy Water, I think. Yeah, I'm not really worried about Shell Shocker in this battle, but... Um, yeah, so, we obviously still have Vesuvius in the back, which is really, really nice, and we might be able to get the KO here, we do just get the KO because we have the, the boost, which is really, really nice, now we are, now we're gonna wreck somebody, now we are gonna wreck somebody, he's gonna go Blissey. I just go for the Dragon Claw into the Torn here, and I just go for Muddy Water again. Blissey is going to be an issue. I can see it already. If we lose this, it's probably going to come down to it. Honestly, he doesn't have any Fairy-type moves or anything. He's got U-Turn on Tornadus, but I think that might be his only thing on this entire team that could hit Big Mouth for super effective. Unless Dragonite had something. Is it gonna fade? It does. Come on, just let me just let me be faster than the Blissey. I don't think it's gonna be possible. Blissey's probably gonna double. Uh, we will. We're gonna resist that. Dang it. He's gonna resist it. He does go into the Shell Shocker here, so it does quite a bit on your barbs. Does that, does that take us out? It does take us out? I'm gonna go. Vesuvius, and I think we gotta go chill here. Um, I have to just go for an eruption, and I may just go for a freezing glare into that Blissey as well, because that Blissey is definitely gonna be an issue here. Actually, yeah, let's go for an eruption, and let's go for a freezing glare into the Ferrothorn. Yeah, he does go into Pax. I was wondering if he would be. That way, we could take that thing out. That was that was really the main reason why I did that. So we did get that, which is nice. Toxics. Um, he's gonna go under torn. I just I could rock slide. No, we just eruption. He's not going to. And then I think we freeze and glare on that thing as well. He U turns. So we really did that well with doing that then instead of rock sliding. So he's just going to toss his Ferrothorn here. Which is good. But that Blissey could just have soft boiled, man. It's That's really, really, really not good. Well, it obviously has soft boiled, right? You don't run a Blissey and not run a, uh, a fighting type move on it. Uh, we just eruption here. Actually... At this point, Eruption's going to be doing 92, 75. I think we do that and we get the stab damage here. And then I Freezing Glare on the Torn. Actually, I could recover. Um, don't miss it, don't miss it, don't miss it, don't miss it. Oh my god. It really did, it did not do enough, man. It did not do enough. Okay, um, Torn, you are... Could be 375. I have to go Mallow here. And we have to... Rock Slide and... I think we got a Triple Axel. Or I could Helping Hand. But I, I'm, I'm, too, I'm too nervous of missing it. I'm too nervous of missing the Rock Slide on the Torn. This will ensure a... A KO here. I mean, we are 182. I mean, that Tornadus. 
God, that Tornadus is going to be very nasty. Okay, so it did not do enough. Okay, we didn't miss it, but... And he's got a Lapa Berry. Dang, man. But, as long as we get... Yeah, okay, we got two. Tornadus is done. Now it's Blissey versus the rest of our team. And this is this is where it gets a little a little scary, right? We got a flash cannon and we gotta just drop kick. Oh my god, Mallow! D Mallow did that much with a drop kick? Damn man, that's really good. Okay. Alright, one win, one loss, guys. We're gonna do another one. Wow! Did I severely underestimate Mallow's power there? I just, I don't, I don't understand. It's not like, I mean, I am an adamant nature, but still, that's just, wow. Oh, I, okay. I, I gotta give this guy props. I like his team. There's no legendaries. It's definitely a rain team. I mean, he's got, like, Gyarados and Lantern and, you know, Dry Skin, Toxic Croak and... Right, smash, shell smashing cloister. Um, I'm gonna go big mouth here and I'm trying to think. I like I think I like shell shocker just because if he gets up the rain, we're gonna get a boost here anyways. And he goes into croak. Rocky Balboa here, not great for big mouth. Not great for big mouth. I'm just gonna double into chill, I think. And we set, actually, or I could. Nah, we're gonna double into Big Mouth. Or, we're gonna double into Chill here, and then I am just gonna set up a Shell Smash. Um, that is our best bet. He's gonna Drain Punch. I figured, even if we set up a... So... Alright, so what are you gonna do now? Hurricane. Ooh! Yikes. Okay, um... We just... Obviously... I think we just freeze and glare on the Pelipper here, and we water spout. I could go into Rocky Balboa, but I'm confident that our water spout knocks that thing out, unless it's Focus Sash. So, oh, forgot about Dry Skin. That's a thing. That's a that's a thing. Alright, um, I am just going to... Let's recover here, because he's gonna probably gonna go for another Sucker Punch. And... I Water Spot again. Yep, he did. <clears throat> and he does take him down to a Sash. He's gonna set up a Shell Smash here. <clears throat> Now I, he goes for, I'm going to ally switch and water spout. Actually, let's, I wonder, okay. We only have, how many, it doesn't tell us what our PP left in this thing is. Um, I'm going to ally switch and I think I'm just going to money water here because I don't want to waste another one. <clears throat> so we're going to ally switch. Cloyster is going to go down, which is really, really big, actually. Um, and he forfeited. Yeah. All right. All right, GG, man. Uh, the rest of your team, it really, I know, it's just, that's kind of crazy. So, <clears throat> all right. So, I'm going to probably count that one as a win. I mean, we'll, we'll jump into another one. It depends on what this last, how this last battle war comes out. Oh, look at it. It's this guy again. It's this guy again. Uh... I go, uh, let's go, let's try something a little bit cheeky here, and let's go chill in Vesuvius, because if he, if he just leads his stupid, the same thing as he did last time, we'll ally switch and eruption, and really screw him over here. Alright, so, well, let's freeze and glare, actually. An eruption. Because if that thing just goes to far follow me, Rage Powder, really? You really want your Amoongus to die? Okay. Let your Amoongus go down, my guy. Like, that's your, like, one of your biggest. A what? Okay, is that Baton Pass? 
Is that baton pass? Is that baton pass? Do not tell me. It is. Into really boom. Dude, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Your really boom died. Dude, why? What makes you think that that was a good play? Against my fire type? My guy. My guy. We're gonna jump into one last battle. My guy. So not only did he sacrifice, oh great, a uh, Dracovish, huge threat, huge threat. Uh, Big Mouth and Shell Shocker, Lee Dracovish, Lee Dracovish, Lee Dracovish, Lee Dracovish, Pelper Dracovish, Pelper Dracovish, come on, yes! Yes, 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 huge. Uh, substitute up and fake out on the Dracovish. Huge, huge, this is awesome. This is awesome. We get the sub up, we Oko with Dragon Claw. We get the sub up, we Oko with Dragon Claw. I'm not worried about it at all. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Um, I Dragon Claw and we Water Spout 100% in the rain. Uh, Shell Shocker will take a Ficious Rend decently well if he decides to go for it. But this is, this is, this is nice. Yeah, baby. Yeah, you can fade it all you want. You can fade it all you want. But, oh, Big Mouth, come on. Water spell. It don't matter, dude. Your Dracovish is going down here. Big Mouth doesn't KO it, then. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here, my guy. And now we get the Beast Boost. All right, come on out here with your Reggie Lucky. Oh, my God, it's not. All right, we Dragon Claw on that Pelipper. I definitely think that thing's more of an issue here. And if he goes for a Grassy Glide, I think we can go... I think we'll go Vesuvius here. So if he just Hurricanes again, okay, he does just Grassy Glide, I'm assuming. And then Hurricane, uh, Big Mouth. All right, got to get... Come on, KO this Pelipper. Get out of here, Pelipper! No more rain setting. All right, that was... This is actually really, really big now. Uh, now he's probably going to go Blastoise. Yep. Okay, so... If there's a chance, I'm going to go for a Dragon Claw into that Blastoise here, and we're going to protect. I'm going to hope he goes for Grassy Glide, and we resist it. Uh, it's not quite enough, though. Um, now I'm going to go Mallow here. And I'm just going to Trop Kick on that Blastoise, and I'm actually going to double into... Shell Shocker, probably. Uh, oh, you can't do that, dude. You can't do that with Queenly Majesty. Drop kick under the Blastoise. Get out of here, Blastoise! Huge threat. Now, now Vesuvius just comes in and cleans up. Vesuvius just comes in and cleans up, guys. 100%. Um, I'm going to go for a Triple Axel on Rillaboom here. And then we double into Kingquake. 100% is our play here. He goes Reggie Alecki. Triple Axel. If we get three, I'll hit one time. Um, so, I'm not really worried about Mallow here, actually. So I'm actually going to just Helping Hand and Earth Power. I guess I could Sludge Bomb. But now we're just gonna earth box that shit, Coco. Not even worried about the Reggie Lucky because he's just yeah, he's just gonna volt switch back out into uh, to Rillaboom here, so we can get the KO and the Hatterene here. That's fantastic. Get out of your Hatterene. Not an issue at all. Um, he's gonna go into Reggie Lucky. We'll Trop Kick on the actually we'll triple Axel on the Rillaboom here, and I just Earth Power on the Reggie Lucky. He ain't Electro Balls, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, we get the KO on the Reggie Lucky, huge, cool, and then Vesuvius just comes in here and and cleans up. Well, he does he does get a crit here, but it really doesn't matter since Chill and Vesuvius literally wreck him. There's no way he wins here. Not not a single chance. We Air Slash, we Eruption, and Air Slash just gets the KO anyways. Let's get it. Let's get it, guys. How, I don't even remember how many wins that was. Technically, I guess that was like two wins, two forfeits, and a loss or something like that. So genuinely, we had like four wins and a loss. So that's really, really good. 
great, great episode. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you let me know by hitting that like button down below. Subscribing if you guys are new. We're going to have another episode out for you guys tomorrow with the Naganandel team. Back at it again with Scott Sterling here, guys, and going to demolish. And then, obviously, later this week, I'm not sure what the schedule is going to be for that BDSP video. Um, I'm not sure if it'll come out after this. It really depends on when I have the time to sit down and record the episode. Because I'm not going to do it tonight. Um, but we will have to see. We'll have to see. So make sure you guys are having notifications on. Because you guys are not going to want to miss that BDSP video. It's going to be awesome. So but Other than that, guys, that is going to be it for me. So like I say at the end of every video, I am the Nitro General. I really do hope you guys did enjoy this. And I'll see you in the next one. The next year general is out. Peace.